Jack here back for another Minecraft video and before I do get into today's video guys let me just apologize in advance if I do sound a little bit under the weather for the past few days I've been battling you know this weird sinus infection that's making me cough a lot I have like a stuffed nose and honestly it has not been very good so yeah my voice does sound a tad bit different well that's why and there's probably gonna be a lot of cuts in this video but I definitely did need to get this video out because there's a lot of amazing things in the new Minecraft 1.11 update that I need to share with you guys so yeah I thought because I do a lot of top 5 and top 10 videos that a neat way to share with you guys the new Minecraft 1.11 update features would be to do a top 5 of my favorite new things that are going to be added into Minecraft 1.11. If you do want to see some more videos like this, you know, for the next Minecraft update, Minecraft 1.12, make sure to go pound that like button if you do like this idea and would like to see it in the future. Uh, I know I normally aim for something low, like 3 or 4 likes, but for this video, realistically, let's try and hit 2,500 likes. If we do hit that, that would be flipping awesome, and I would definitely make another one of these videos for the next Minecraft update. So yeah, guys, that's enough rambling from me. So without further ado, let's hop into the top five things going to be added in Minecraft 1.11. All right, guys, so coming in at number five is the brand new exploration map. Now, at this point in time, there are two exploration maps. There is the Ocean Explorer map, and there is the Woodland Explorer map. Now, these maps can be obtained through a cartographer, which is a new type of villager. And as you can see here, it took me a little bit to get a few cartographers in this village. So pretty much what you're going to want to do is find a cartographer. I just wanted to get away from all those villagers over there because it's super duper loud. But yeah, you're going to find a cartographer you're gonna need a bunch of paper emeralds and a few compasses so here i'm gonna give it some paper we're gonna get an emerald in return and then if i click off wait a few seconds and then click back on i should eventually get a new trade here we go where i'm gonna get a compass for an emerald we're gonna come back and then he should have another trade which should be emeralds for an empty map and then now we should be able to get an exploration map so let's see if we go all the way to the right bam we have an ocean explorer map if we give him emeralds and a compass so it is a little bit pricey but it's definitely gonna give you another use for your emeralds and then if we click off go back on go all the way right we should be able to get a woodland explorer map that is how you get the two exploration maps from a cartographer so yeah pretty much how the exploration map works is that if you see a small white dot in a corner of the screen that means you're gonna have to start moving in that direction so for me i would have to start moving northwest and then once i get within 1024 blocks my little white dot should get a lot bigger and then it should turn into like a regular treasure map where i'll be able to maneuver towards the ocean monument so yeah now as you can see I did get a lot closer and then once I actually stepped within the boundaries of the map my uh my little white dot turned into an actual thing where I can turn and it'll show me where to go and obviously the ocean monument is right down there so yeah these little exploration maps are amazing if you want to find these two monuments and I'm sure in the future if there's any kind of dungeons added to the game then you'll probably be able to use these to find strongholds maybe even the end portal and just things like that so yeah guys that is is just number five some of the other things in this top five list are just insane for minecraft 1.11 so without further ado let's move on to number four so coming in at number four is the shulker box. Now, pretty much for this, you're going to need to kill a, uh, a a lot of shulkers. Okay, okay. I have not fought these things yet because I have not even played Minecraft 1.10. Oh, gosh. I totally forgot about the levitation effect. When's it going to stop? Okay, there we go. Now we can keep on going in, killing them. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. And bam. This is what you need. You need the shulker shells. All right, we need to kill this bad boy too. There we go. So every time you kill a shulker, they should give you... Whoa, stop it. Stop it. No, 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 no. So every time you kill a shulker, they should give you at least one shulker shell which you're going to use in a crafting table to get yourself a shulker box so pretty much what you're going to want to do is put the shulker shells just like this you're going to put a chest in the middle and this should give you a purple shulker box now if you go back over here we can place this bad boy down you'll notice that it actually works as a chest so i can put down a bunch of spawn shulkers in here i can put down my sword i can put down some other chests in here really whatever the heck i want and the best part about this well other than you know the amazing animation is that if i bring break this bad boy um it uh it works a lot faster with a pickaxe so yeah when i break it you'll notice that if i hover over it it will show me what's in the box and everything doesn't pop out of it just like a chest would so if i walk over here i put down the shulker box again you'll notice that all my items are still in there so pretty much you can expand your uh your inventory by using these essentially as backpacks but yeah the shulker box get even better than that we can put them in a crafting bench with some different types of dyes to get different color shulker box chests. so yeah we can get a red shulker box 
we can get a green one so yeah these are great for decoration and they work the exact same as a regular shulker box would so you can have like different color backpacks and then you can label them and make them different colors like say i wanted to put a bunch of redstone in the red shulker box then i could rename it to the redstone box and then you know it would be color coded so i know that when i open this there will be a bunch of redstone in here so yeah guys even though that is a really tiny addition to the game it is definitely going to be super useful especially for survival mode in transporting a ton of items and just kind of making minecraft overall a lot more organized so coming in at number three is a brand new type of redstone block, which was actually brought over from Minecraft Pocket Edition. So pretty much it will output a redstone signal if the block it is observing, you know, right here, get it, observer block. Sorry, I'm not really that funny when I'm sick. But yeah, pretty much if the block that it is observing changes, so if I put a grass block here, it will output a redstone signal of one, and then it will activate whatever is connected to the redstone. So this is great for farms. You can have uh, really compact flying machines. I saw an ant venom video where he had like five amazing creations with the observer block which i will link down in the description below so if you're curious all the different uses for observer blocks then just check out that video because i'm definitely uh way too sick to make something crazy out of this but yeah you get the general idea you can have like a like a melon right here and then the melon seed makes a melon right there and then it would activate pistons that would you know make an automatic farm but yeah pretty much it just makes redstone a lot more compact and it just adds a whole new aspect to it all right, so coming in at number four, I decided to group together all of the different mobs coming in Minecraft 1.11 because there are definitely quite a few. So the first addition to Minecraft 1.11 is llamas, and I thought this was really neat because Jeb asked uh, just fans on Twitter what he should add, either llamas or alpacas, and the people voted for it to be llamas, and bam. Look at this. But yeah, llamas are actually hostile if you do attack them and they will spit at you. So if I go over here and I just hit this llama, he'll just start spitting at me. Hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, gosh. That does a lot of damage. But yeah, if I do want to befriend them, I can go over here, give them some wheat. Hey, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. And then eventually I'll get hearts just like a horse. I know it takes a lot. Did, did I get him? Did I, did I get you, bud? Nope. Come on. I just want to tame you. Okay, I think I tamed him. I don't really know what I did. I just fed him a bunch of wheat and then I just kind of sat on top of him. But yeah, if you do shift right click on him, you can add a cart it to him which is pretty much just their version of a saddle so i can add an orange carpet a white carpet just any type of carpet will display as a different type of saddle and then also i can add a chest to him so yeah i'm not entirely sure how to add a chest to him but another neat feature with llamas is that if you attach a lead to one of them and there's a bunch of other llamas around they will actually form a little caravan they'll just follow whoever the leader is and as you can see you can just attract a whole bunch of llamas together and you can pretty much just make a llama army so the next new kind of mob is called an illager which is kind of related to a villager obviously they sound the same but they're hostile mobs and pretty much there's two separate kinds of them one is a boss which is an evoker or kind of like a mini boss and then we have a vindicator so let's put down the vindicator first uh pretty much these are just like pale villagers almost like ghost like villagers where they will separate their arms to attack and they'll have an iron axe in their arms so yeah both of the illagers will attack regular villagers so you'll notice if i put down a villager they'll just run away from this dude so yeah, as you can see uh, this type of illager, the Vindicator, will just run after a villager with an iron axe out. He'll separate his arms, which is really neat to see, you know, because, you know, villagers don't normally separate their arms. And they'll literally just chase each other for hours. But yeah, the other kind of illager, the mini boss one, is called an Evoker. Now, this one is a little bit more complex than the Vindicator. Uh, this one's almost like a sorcerer type boss. Uh, he'll summon a new mob called Vexes, and he'll use a fang attack, which is really neat. And if you do kill them, you will get something called the Totem of undying which essentially if you put this in your offhand and you're about to die say like you fall off a giant cliff it'll essentially revive you and you won't lose any of your items and uh yeah it just gives you a bunch of extra hearts so yeah here is the evoker he will also attack regular villagers and you'll notice yeah he just looks insane he's like an just a beast sorcerer and if i spawn in some villagers here let's see what he can do so yeah that is the fang attack right there holy crap that is nice yeah these things are the vexes they are pretty much just like little ghosts they can pass through the ground and any other type of block and they hold out an iron sword so yeah those are pretty much all the new mobs added to the game but let's move on to number one which is actually a brand new dungeon where both of these illagers spawn in 
All right, guys, so here it is. Coming in at number one is a brand new Minecraft dungeon, which is called the Woodland Mansion. Now, this new dungeon is definitely gonna be a fan favorite. It is just amazing. It spawns in forest and roof forest, and uh, it has three different levels. So there's a bottom level, a top level, and then a third level up there. And this is where the two types of illagers spawn. So you're gonna find uh, the regular Vindicator and then the mini boss, which is the Evoker. So let's see if I can find the entrance to this, which is actually right here. So let's just do a little bit of exploring. I don't want to show you guys everything within this because obviously I want you guys to check this out for yourselves when the update does come out. But yeah, you're going to have a bunch of mobs in here because it is super dark. I mean, technically this is a dungeon, so you're going to have some goodies in here as well. But let's just have a little look around. Now, as you can see right here, I think this is the Vindicator. So yeah, let's just let's just throw down some villagers. Go chase them. Yeah, there you go. He's literally like the Grim Reaper, just chasing the villagers all around. Now, it looks like the way up is right here in the center. So let's go check out what on floor two so it looks like we have a bunch of vindicators just kind of like talking together in this corner and this looks almost like a war room where they have like a map and they're gonna plan some sort of large scale attack which would be really really scary i just found my first evoker i thought it might have been on the third floor but it seems like they will spawn on the second floor possibly even the first floor so yeah we have uh, some regular vindicators here but then this guy is gonna be a little bit harder to kill obviously especially if there's a bunch of vindicators and other mobs running around all right and here is the staircase to the third floor let's go check what's up here nothing too crazy is up here it looks like we might have almost like a little jail right here and then i thought this thing was pretty neat it's literally just a picture of the vindicator which honestly that's really really funny but yeah guys that essentially wraps up the woodland mansion and that pretty much wraps up this entire video so yeah i really hope you guys did enjoy these top five minecraft 1.11 update features if you did enjoy this video make sure to once again go pound that like button remember let's aim for 2,500 likes if you do like this sort of idea. Also, I do want to apologize if I did not sound my best in this video and there's a lot of jump cuts because uh, I've been coughing throughout this entire video. <coughs> So yeah guys, sorry about that, but hopefully you still were able to enjoy this video and learn about the brand new Minecraft 1.11 exploration update. Personally, I think this is going to be one of the better Minecraft updates. Honestly, I love new dungeons being added, new mobs, and even the new Evoker mini boss. I think that all those things are going to make Minecraft just that much better to play. Also guys, if you think that something else from the Minecraft 1.11 update should have been in this list, or if you thought that maybe the observer block was less important than maybe the exploration exploration map then let me know in the comment section down below i'm really curious if your guys top five list of minecraft 1.11 features would be different than mine and also down below in the comment section i want you guys to go post what you are most excited about for minecraft 1.11 but yeah guys that's pretty much it i really hope you guys did enjoy my name is beck bro jack those are some horses i wish i had some llamas here and we will see you guys all next time goodbye you're so flipping majestic